FM3 firmware 6.02 came out a couple days ago, so I figured I'd make a little demo video showing some of the new features. Most of us have already seen the new large fonts display option, but just in case you missed it, here it is. You get to this display option by turning the B knob to switch between large and small modes. I made a preset to demonstrate some of the new features that were added. I added the gate, comp, drive, amp, and cab blocks. The gate block is using the new classic expander type in channel A and the new modern expander type in channel B. The comp block is using the new analog sustainer type in channel A, the new JFET sustainer type in channel B, and the new optical sustainer type in channel C. The drive block is using the new OD1 overdrive in channel A. I was going to add the delay block to uh, demonstrate the LFO3, but I think that might need a whole video by itself, so we'll do that somewhere down the line. Now this preset has five scenes. The scene names describe the new features being used. Scene 1, Classic Expander Plus Drive. Scene 2, Modern Expander Plus Drive. Scene 3, Analog Sustainer. Scene 4, JFET Sustainer. And Scene 5, Optical Sustainer. Alright, I guess nothing left to do but to try it out. Scene 1 is Classic Expander Plus Drive. That sounds like this. <laughs> Now listen how quiet that is. Watch what happens if I turn off the gate block. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the drive block. I've got the overdrive turned up to 10. Let's see what that sounds like if we turn it off. And again, with that gate block on, nothing. Let's do scene two, modern expander plus drive. And again, if I turn off that gate. Oh, it's trying. <laughs> scene three is analog sustainer. You can hear that it brings the volume up as the signal starts to fade away. Scene 4 is JFET sustainer. Seems to be much quieter. Again, it brings the quiet stuff up. Nice. Scene 5 is Optical Sustainer. That one seems really sensitive. So that's it guys, just a little bit of a test. Now, I don't know how they do it, but they keep adding more great features to the FM3. I'm really hoping that the Dynacab technology makes its way to the FM3 eventually, but hey, look at it this way. The FM3 has large fonts and the Axe FX3 doesn't. Crazy, right? Let's hope all three units get large fonts and Dynacabs. Tomorrow we'll be looking at the Perform layout. You don't want to miss that, so hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Alright guys, have a good Thursday and I'll see you tomorrow.